everyone. So after I showed my new purse in my what I got for Christmas video, I told you guys that I was going to do an updated what's in my purse. And it's actually been a couple years since I've done one of these. I have two ones that I've done in the past, so if you've seen those. But this is definitely an updated version. I've gotten a new purse, like I mentioned, in my Christmas video. The one that I got is the Longchamp Le Pliage. This is the medium tote, and it's black, as you can see. And I am in love with this purse. Um, it's definitely been something that I've been wanting for a really long time. And thankfully, my boyfriend got me one for Christmas, so I was so, so happy with that. And, um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I have in here. So I hope you guys find this video interesting. I always love seeing what other girls carry in their purses. Um, but I really like this bag overall. It is a little bit expensive. It's not too, too much for, like, a nice designer bag, though. I think it's just really durable and versatile that goes with a lot of different things. And what's nice about this bag is, A, you can carry it, like, on your shoulder like this. Or you, I like to carry mine like, you know, kind of in the crook of my elbow right here. But this bag is nice because it has a zipper and a little, like, um, button right here. So you can close it both of those ways. And it's nice if you're traveling. That way you know that your stuff isn't going to fall out. Or if you're in a big city. I know I always worry about people, like, unzipping my bags and, like, getting into my stuff. So this is really nice for that. It can get a little bit annoying when you're, like... Just trying to get your wallet in and out when you're like at a store or something. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this. But overall, this bag is great. And um, I really like the material because it's very, I feel like if stuff gets on it, it's going to be really easy to wipe off. And I'm hoping to get a couple more of these in the future in different colors and stuff. I know they have a lot of different color options. And they also carry it in a smaller size than this and a much bigger size. So that would be good for traveling, which um, maybe I'll look into one of these days. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I have inside of here. And this bag, it's kind of frustrating because it's just like one big open space like this. But I found a way that works for me. I have like my wallet and then I have like two cases that carry littler, smaller things. Um, I put my wallet in here and then I have two cases that carry like the smaller things. So that's the way that I decided to organize it and it makes it much easier to find stuff. So that's just a suggestion if you have a purse like this um, where it's just like one big open space. It does have one little compartment for, I don't know if you can see this, it's like one little pouch right here. And I can keep like, um, I guess I'll start off with that. I keep mints, and these are the icebreakers frost kind, and um, I like the, these are the winter cool. I really like this flavor the best, and I have gone through so many of these. I actually have a backup one when I run out of these, but my boyfriend and I are obsessed with these mints, and we carry them with us like everywhere, so I really like these, and then I always have a pack of gum with me as well, and this Orbit kind is my favorite, just the peppermint kind. And so yeah, those things are like my staples. I always have those in every single purse that I carry. And then of course, like some type of lip product, whether it's chapstick or in this case it's a lip gloss. And it's from MAC and it's the Viva Glam 6. And this is one of my favorites. I ran out of one of my other favorites, so this has kind of replaced that for the time being. So I'm actually almost out of this one too. But yeah, I always have some kind of lip product. And this is actually what I'm wearing right now, just a little bit of it on my lips. But yeah, so that's all I really carry in that little pouch. And then my phone actually does fit in there once I like have it all closed and um, everything like that. It does stay in that little pouch. So that's nice too um, if I'm not carrying my phone like in my pocket or something and I can keep it closed away so it's safe. And then one of the main things is my wallet. And I am still carrying this coach wallet from like... I've had this since my sophomore year in high school, and I am now a junior in college. So it has lasted me a very, very long time, and I'm glad um, because of, you know, how expensive these wallets are. But it's really, really nice, and I honestly, I really, really love this wallet. It's great because it has, like, so many, oops, so many different compartments. I have all my cards and gift cards and stuff in here. It has a flap for money. And I just keep, like, I'm really weird, but I keep a bunch of just, like, um, stuff that, like, are memories, so I have, like, from when I went to the zoo, I have a bus pass from when I went on vacation, I just have a bunch of different things, like, from my, um, 
from my like homecomings at from high school. So I just keep like memory stuff in this pouch so I always know where it is. And just stuff like that. Um, and I always keep my movie stubs when I go to the movies. I put the little stub in here and I have so many of those. That's just kind of what I like to collect. And then it like has a little buckle like that. And then it has a change thing in the back, so that's always been really nice. And this wall is so heavy. I have so much stuff in here. Okay, and then one of the other little pouches that I was telling you about, which makes this purse a lot more organized, is my Beer Bradley. This is the um, Berry Paisley print, I want to say. And this is a, like the smaller makeup bag. And I love this. It really does come in handy. And it kind of like gives some color to the inside of my bag since it's black. But I just carry like my little essentials in here. So I have like hand sanitizer. This is the Island Nectar from Bath and Body Works. It smells really, really good. And then I have a Burt's Bees chapstick. I have a nail file. This one is by 31. And it has little owls on it, which is super, super cute. I love that. And then I keep some Advil with me. And this bottle is kind of old, so it's kind of like scratched off. But I, I always like update it with, um, I put new Advil as I run out. I just keep this little case because it's so convenient. And it's perfect for traveling and stuff. And, you know, if you ever have cramps or a headache, I get headaches a lot. So this really does come in handy. Just make sure you don't take too many. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's always nice to have. I have a Band-Aid, which I don't use very often. But, who, you know, you never know. I have another MAC lip gloss, and this is Fluster Rose. I haven't really used this one that often, but if I wanted, like, a more pinky color, I guess, then this is nice to keep in there. I have just a loose, like, powder from CoverGirl that I keep with me in case I get oily. I have another, this is a Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle. I didn't even know this was in here. But, yeah, this is kind of, like, a natural color. I really like that. And then I always keep oil absorbing sheets. I actually have this one which has like a few more left in it and then I replaced it with this pack and it's the limited edition Hello Kitty one. I just thought it was cute because it's pink. So yeah, um, I'll open this one when I finish the other one. But these are always nice to keep in my purse because especially like in the summer when I'm like, I have super oily skin so um, that can be bad. So these definitely come in handy. And right now if I'm like, oily or shiny or something like it is so hot in here it's like the middle of January and it's like 63 degrees outside or something like it's insane so we like have the heat on earlier and I'm like frying up in here and then my lights like make it so much hotter so I'm just warning you in case I'm like sweaty and then I have nail clippers which this and the nail file oh my goodness if I did not carry these with me I would I don't know what I would do because there's so many times that my nails just break randomly when I'm out somewhere and I'm dying for like a nail file or a nail um, clipper. So I have this pair right here. And then I just have another nail file, which this one I'll probably throw away because it's older. And I got that other one for Christmas. And then I always keep a hair tie, which of course again comes in handy and a bobby pin as well and I think I used to carry more than one but right now I just have one these things seem to disappear all the time but I have the blonde one since I have blonde hair obviously and then the last thing that I keep with me is this little cow I don't know if you can see it's a little cow and don't mind my nail polish too um, but I am obsessed with cows and I got this out of like one of those I forget where we were but it was like one of those like vending machine kind of you know how at restaurants sometimes they have those things and you put like a quarter in and you twist it and you get like some kind of prize or whatever. So this came out and I fell in love with them. And ever since I've kind of been obsessed with cows, like I have two cow pillow pets. Which I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram, but sometimes I like to tweet pictures of my cows. And um, yeah, I just think they're so, so cute and I love it because like look at his big nose. He's so cute. His name is Charlie. Don't think I'm weird, I'm sorry. Okay, and then the last little pouch is this one, and this is from 31, and this can also be like a little wristlet, it has this, and it has an M from Melissa, of course, and um, my aunt got me this, which is really, really nice of her, 
So in here I keep a hairbrush, of course. Again, these are just things that come in handy, so it's really, really nice. So if you're thinking of like what you should keep in your purse, I am telling you all of these things that I've had in here are lifesavers. Like, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have a hairbrush. This is, I've used it so many, so many times. And this one, I don't know where we got this one from. But you can just get little hairbrushes like this pretty much anywhere, Target or Walmart or whatever. And then I keep my digital camera, so this is a Sony CyberShot, and I've had this when, I think I got it sophomore year of high school too, so it's been about like five or so years. And um, it's like a light pink color, I don't know if you can tell with the light, but yeah, it's still working great, and um, I love to have this on hand, you know, when I'm out with friends or something, we always like to take pictures, so... I just like to keep it in this case too because then it's kind of away from all the other things so it doesn't get scratched up. And then the last thing I have in here is a little winter candy apple hand cream. And this again, especially now that it's winter time, my hands are always getting so dry and cracked and sometimes it really, really hurts. So having this with me is awesome and I really, really like this scent even though, you know, I will carry this when it's not winter. I think it still smells really, really good. And just like kind of fresh and clean. So I think this is a great scent and I love this. I just recently got that for Christmas. So that's all I kept in this little pouch. But I've also used this pouch for like when I'm traveling. I sometimes like put my jewelry down in here. And again, like I said, you can use it just as a wristlet. I'm not really big into wristlets, but these little pouches come in handy for pretty much anything. Now, as you can see, there's just a few, like, random things that I had to just kind of shove off to the side. Um, and that's basically my keys. So I have my car keys on this lanyard, oops, which is really, really old, and it's been in every single what's in my purse. I still have not updated my lanyard. And it's, like, getting dirty, so I really probably should. It just says, I love dancing, because I do. And I used to dance, like, all through high school and all through my childhood and everything. Um... But yeah, I have a Vera Bradley lanyard that I need to switch this to because it's getting like really just gross. And then I just have some keychains on here. Um, my house key, my car key. I have this cute little Hawaii keychain that one of my friends gave me. I wish I visited Hawaii myself, but I haven't unfortunately. A little key from Hollywood that my brother brought back for me and it says Melissa on it. Again, I've never gone to Hollywood either. And then I have a little coach keychain, so I don't know if you can see that, it's just like a little heart. You probably can't see that, but it's just cute. So I like having fun little stuff on there like that. And then the last couple things, I have my, I'm going to try to get this so you can't see where I go to school. But um, I have this Vera Bradley, well I'll show you. It's a Vera Bradley like little case like this, and these, if you guys are in college, I'm sure most of you know this, but these things come in handy. They, like, I don't know what I would do without this. I keep my ID card in here. I keep my license in here. I keep my debit card in here. Um, my work card. And then I have my dorm key and my mailbox key for school as well. And this just comes in handy. I know I've said that like a million times about everything in my purse, but these are great if you're in college because sometimes I'll just grab this and go out the door. And then I have everything with me, you know, when I'm walking around campus because I need my sweat card to get into my dorm um, and I need it to, like, eat in the cafeteria, so it's great. And again, I have the very, or no, it's called Barry Paisley print for this, so that's super, super cute. I would definitely recommend those. And um, the last thing I just put in here because, um, well, I'll show you, it's a passport, my passport. And I just put this in here because I'm going to be taking a trip to Canada um, over Martin Luther King weekend with my boyfriend. We're going to go visit some friends that live in Canada. And hopefully we'll get to stop by like Niagara Falls or something because I've gone to, I went to the American side over the summer, but I've never gone to the Canadian side. Um, at least that I've remembered. I think my parents took me when I was like three or something, but I don't remember. So yeah, I have that. And that is it for my what's in my purse. Um... This bag, like, it definitely looks better when you fill it with stuff. 
Um, and mine's not too, too heavy. This is a very durable bag, so I love it. And I would definitely suggest it. And they have so many colors to choose from. So I think I want to opt for like the tannish khaki color one next. Um, I like the more neutral colors. So yeah, I think that'd be great. Because this is this is a great bag, especially now that it's winter and stuff. And I will carry it like, you know, whenever whenever's fine. But um, I don't always like to carry black in the summer. So maybe I'll get like a tan one for my birthday or something. We'll see. Oh, and I forgot one more thing because I took these out and these were just in my purse. But these are my glasses. I have to wear my glasses to drive. Um, I guess I don't have to, but it definitely helps me see a lot better when I have them on. And I also wear my glasses for a class. So I just have this little pink case that used to be my mom's. I have no idea where she got it. And then these are what my glasses look like. They're kind of like a burgundy color, and they have like purple inside, but um, they're just like the plastic frames. And actually, I used to have another pair, and they were by like the brand Candies, and they were super cute too. They looked very similar to this, not the exact same shape or anything, but um, I broke, I they like snapped in half right down the middle because I put them in my book bag like without a case, and that was like the stupidest thing I could have ever done. So yeah, I got these at like Walmart. I think they were like the in the kids or like the teen section or something. But they were the only ones that fit my frame or my my um, lenses. So yeah, I ended up getting those. But I really like them. So that was everything that was in my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can show me what you have in your purse as a video response down below. And I would love to watch those. Please, please, please leave any requests that you guys want to see from me within the next couple months or weeks here coming up. Um, I know next week, like I said, I will be gone. I'm going to Canada. So let me know if you would like to see like a follow me around vlog. Um, maybe I can do that or something if you would like to see that, of course. Um, so yeah, just let me know and I would be happy to do that for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I just started back up school, so um, hopefully not going to be as hectic of a semester, but I'm going to try to keep putting up videos every now and then that I can. So I just thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.